getting ready for millions dead in New York for something that's killed a few thousand in its peak pandemic in the other hemisphere right now? Something that's nothing? What are they planning? What is going on? But it's just like Y2K. The feds use that to build emergency FEMA bunkers everywhere, take over local government, put in their new computer systems, put in their new camera systems. They hyped it. The Navy said it was the end of the world. And then they turned around and said that the people had made it up. It was no big deal when it was the government that said it was real. Same thing here. Well, they just say, oh, we ordered 20 billion in vaccines and you took it and some people died from it. But, you know, and the feds have trained you how to. I mean, is that all that's happening or is it bigger? So we're going to go over more of this, but I want to go ahead and go to Wayne Madsen. He's with us for the uh, remaining 47 minutes. Wayne, thank you for coming on WayneMadsenReport.com. You've heard me ranting through all of this. Uh, we've got major German newspapers reporting there's live cancer virus in it. Top scientists saying don't take it. Other bird flu trials are killing people in mass. London Telegraph. What on earth is going on here? Well, uh, let me make it feel even better. Next week in Washington, there's a conference. I believe you had something posted about this on your website, but uh, it's on swine flu. It's at the Capitol Hill Hyatt Hotel, and here's, here's some of the breakout sessions. Mass fatality management planning, uh, di direct fatality management tactical operations, conduct morgue operations, conduct final disposition, that's of bodies, and manage some I can't figure out. Manage anti-mortem data. Now, I know what post-mortem data is. That's how many people would have died, but what in the world is anti-mortem data? I mean, are, is this like, are they figuring out beforehand how many people may die? And, and, and you know, they have a, a, a self-fulfilling uh, wish there. Uh, uh, psychological issues, you talked about PSYOPs. Public's distress of exposure and safety, breakdown of public services, utilities, unwillingness to follow government orders. Now, th now this is obviously being held on Capitol Hill at the Hilton because they want to get, you know, members of Congress especially their staffers, to go to this thing. But this is what they're talking about, continuity of operations planning, disruptions to public, private, and critical infrastructure, uh, undermining essential functions. Uh, so there you have it. This is what they're talking about. Uh, um, they're talking about when H1N1 flu pandemic is unfolds in two or three successive waves in a calendar year. So we're talking about October uh, as, you know, sort of ground zero, at least in North America. For October time. into April. Right, right. And um, uh, so this is this is what they're talking about. Uh, and this is next week in Washington. I'm going to try to cover this. They they want to almost $2,000 if you register uh, normally, but I hopefully uh, they're, they're going to, you know, let press in there to cover what they're talking about because there's a lot of government uh, people, uh, people from World Health Organization, people from the U.S. government, all scheduled to speak at this thing. Unbelievable. And they put that big price tag on there to make it cost prohibitive for most journalists. But you're with an international TV network and write for major publications, so they should let you in for free uh, just as press. But uh, we certainly want to have you here reporting for us, Wayne. Wayne, you heard me rant through as you were on hold for five minutes all the different little tidbits. Congressman saying it's a cover for martial law. Open announcements, they're going to forcibly inoculate and lock down cities. Now, that doesn't mean they're going to get away with this, but they're certainly now saying they're going to do this, and that's what level six rules mean. That's what the executive order now activated means. What is your, I know you are up on, at Capitol Hill. I know you're at the press club. I know you have sources. I've really become to respect and be impressed. You know, you're one of our best sources, Wayne, and I've really not seen you be wrong yet, which is scaring me. You day one said you had virologists that were saying it was manufactured. That got seconded months later. What is going on with this flu? Is it really going to kill a bunch of people, or is it the excuse to bring in tyranny? Is that a beta test of tyranny, or is it a test? Do they think they'll get away with it? Will they go over with total control as a smoke screen for the collapsing economy and the and, and, and use it to pass the cap and trade and the banker bailout too? And I mean, what's going on with this? Well, I, I, there's two protocols that seem to be in place in reporting now. First, we heard about people being infected. We got those, you know, you know, uh, Brazil's been hit, and then it was, you know, Panama, then it was India. Now we're hearing about deaths from all these various countries. You know, first death in Nicaragua. Uh, but um, uh, one thing they talk about is how most, most if not all, these people died because of a, of an, uh, they already had a pre-existing condition. I, I'm hearing from people in the medical community that that is actually 
not the case for the most part, that these people walk in healthy, and in some cases, you know, a few days later, they're dead. Uh, the other thing is undercounting the number of deaths. I understand from a source in Jakarta, Indonesia, which has now been hit by the H1N1, that the government there is actually under counting the number of deaths. So yeah, the state of Texas document I yeah. got saying, we tell the public we're at level four, we're really at level five, in 96 hours we go to level six, that was in April. Turned out that th th that was an accurate document, at least for being level six, they said the deaths were much higher. Uh, so, continue. Well, I mean, and, and, and you know, this conference next week, uh, here's what they're going to talk about when it comes to law, law enforcement, they're talking about controlling and diffusing social unrest and public disorder with this swine flu. So it's clear that they know uh, they know what's coming down the pike, unless the, the people putting this on are just using scare tactics to make a lot of money. I, I don't get the impression that's the case. One thing that uh, kind of uh, worries me about this uh, conference, it's organized by a company that's a privately held company, and there's no information on who their corporate officials are. <laughs> I've been here long enough to know what a possibly a, an intelligence front is. Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah, this is all a, 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 a getting all the ducks in a row operation. Right, and anything on, uh, anything on Pennsylvania Avenue, as is this conference planner, uh, if it's on Pennsylvania Avenue, that's pretty high rent, so somebody's, somebody's putting the bill. Yeah, so we got them all getting their little minions. A, how to line up at the, at the, at the sow's breast, and uh, B, what talking points to cover. So they're getting their ducks in a row. Uh, but but, but I mean, what about the mass graves that are getting ready and the forced inoculations? Clearly, this is a federalization drill, but not just federalization. All over the world, it's the U.N. directing this. Well, again, I mean, you know, you look at uh, what they're going to be talking about here. They're talking about enforcing quarantines. Uh, uh, you know, so it's clear they're talking about, uh, uh, you know, uh, airlines, uh, restrictions on travel, uh, restrictions at airports, uh, border, border uh, crossings. Uh, this is all, uh, and then, and then uh, how to handle medical waste. I assume what that includes probably uh, uh, dead bodies. Uh, you know, people have died from this. Uh, from this Wayne, we got a break. When we come back, in the last two weeks it came out, they're hiring tens of thousands of additional internment and resettlement re-education officers. I want to get your take on that. Direct to you and in your face. You're listening to the Alex Jones Broadcasting Network. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we're just addressing what the congressmen are saying about them using it for martial law. The forts inoculations, the mass graves were vindicated, proven right again. And if people would just stop denying the documents we bring forward, we would have even more political steam now to defeat this. If people would just check into the claims we make, we source everything. Instead of listening to COINTELPRO and the Simon Wiesenthal Center and uh, the Southern Poverty Law Center and all of them lying about us. There's an article up there where they're talking about how I need to be killed. I mean, it's, it's just, I mean, it's really getting creepy. Uh, so that's up on InfoWars.com. We have links to them. These guys are bold. They do not like us. They're very upset we're raining on their parade. Okay, Wayne Madsen. I want, I want to get into the whole birther thing. You've got some inside intel on that. But first off, WayneMadsenReport.com, again, is his website. Uh, I was bringing up the issue of the internment, relocation, re-education specialist and people are finally waking up because it's on the army's own website that oh we need jail guards for america for the army to put whole towns in go ahead well i mean look you know you look at what vice president biden said as far as you know when he's talking about this bailout package uh, uh the first thing he said the first priority was to uh uh, uh, provide more funding for uh, f funding for law enforcement agencies for the police around the country. I mean, like we don't have enough of them. Uh, so it's clear it's clear that this administration is uh, putting as much emphasis on all this uh, domestic security uh, nonsense as did the last one. And uh, you know, uh, there's people out there that are really hurting. And all all Biden can talk about is 
is providing this bailout, you know, this, this uh, incentive money for, for cops. And I don't think they need any more money. What, we've had a quadrupling in police the last 15 years? Yeah, I, 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 I just noticed that at the local Dunkin' Donuts. There now seems to be four times as many cop cars sitting there uh, while they're on break than there was before. But then you can't get one when your house gets broken into most of the time. Uh, but, boy, they're there with radar guns, though. Oh, absolutely. Well, they have to raise revenue for these uh, uh, state and uh, county and uh, municipal governments because the tax base is collapsing. So that's that's how they're, uh, you know, they have to shake down the public to to, to earn their keep. Well, well, Wayne, how do you see this unfolding that you can go to the Army's own website and that's actually off of a Hispanic job site.